One of the things that we discovered, uh, particularly with the Bajani twins, is that by their brains being together for such a long period of time, they had very, very substantial adhesions between them, which were very, very difficult to deal with. One of the reasons that uh, we're proposing a distraction a technique is to help resolve that problem by letting the brains naturally separate uh, by putting a little bit of traction on them and letting the constant beating of the cerebral spinal fluid try to create planes between the brains. This is not something that has been tried before, but certainly seems like something that uh, would make a lot of sense. Uh, again, I want to, to emphasize the fact that uh, all the things that, that we have said are subject to change because uh, we still have more due diligence to do. We're not rushing into anything here at all. And uh, we want to make sure we take advantage of every piece of knowledge uh, that is available in the world today to make sure that this is successful. Based on all the medical tests we've done with the heart, with the kidneys, the way the, the fact that one of the kids, uh, one of the twins, Farah, does all the kidney function uh, for Sabah, and the fact that her heart is actually working overtime, we already have evidence of cardiac malfunction in Farah. She has developed high blood pressure. Her aorta has started to dilate, and she has aortic regurgitation, which means that her aortic valve is leaking which uh, Dr. Kohli and, and Dr. Joshi tell us means that within a few years, she already has this, this issue with repeated coughs. Uh, and that really is a sign of, of the problem that's setting in. And, and both the cardiac surgeon and the cardiologist tell us that within the next few years, they, she will become symptomatic in that she will require frequent medication.